Today I'm going to show you how to make a program for your Stellaris Launchpad so that when you push switch 2 the green LED comes on if you push switch 1 the blue LED turns on and if you push both switches the red LED turns on so let's go ahead and look at the code this is a code that is necessary to receive inputs from the buttons. I will be posting this on my website and you can find a link to the page in the description below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. And I won't be explaining too much about the code because I already have, uh, as you can see, uh, some explanation here in the comments. And I also have the pages to the data sheets for the microcontroller. And I will also be posting a link to the, to the data sheet for the uh, microcontroller. But uh, the thing that is uh, important or I guess unique to this application are the uh, pull-up resistors that we're setting here in this line. So as you can see, I'm enabling the pull-up resistors for PF0 and PF4. And the reason for that is because that's where our buttons are connected to in the board. So let me go ahead and show you the uh, board schematic for the buttons. So this is the uh, schematic. And as you can see, switch 2 is connected to PF0. Switch 1 is connected to PF4. And now we go ahead and look at the uh, switch circuitry. You can see that when you push the switch, that's going to connect it straight to ground for both switches. So we want to have pull-up resistors on this pin and on this pin. And that's what we are setting our uh, pull-up resistor register for these two pins. Now, one of the things that I noticed was that the, uh, uh, the actual circuit schematic is labeled incorrectly. This is actually switch one and this is actually switch two. So just be careful of that. I actually had to find that out with a multimeter and also just by looking at the uh, GPIO F register values as they were changing when I was pressing the buttons. And now that you know why we're using pull-up registers and how we're enabling them. Let's go back to the code and let me show you the rest of the uh, example. So this is a an infinite while loop where I'm just going to be checking for the uh, buttons as they're pressed and also turning the lights off and on. So in this line, I just turn off all the lights, all the LEDs, the blue, red, and green. And I use, I'm using a switch statement to check how the data looks in port F. So what I'm checking are the two buttons, which like I said, are port F0 and port F4. So those are the only two uh, pins that I'm interested in. And that's why I'm ending my port F data register with the uh, hexadecimal value one one, which would be this number here in binary. So if both switches are pressed, like I said, when you press the switches, they go to ground. So that means that both of them are gonna be zero. So when you press them, both of them go to ground, they get the value of zero. And I wanna turn on my red LED. If switch one is pressed, then this bit here is going to be zero, which will be this bit's position here. So that value is going to be zero, which will mean uh, in hexadecimal zero one. Then I'm going to turn on my blue LED. If switch two is pressed, which is this bit here, then that bit will be zero. So this is my hexadecimal value for that. And of course, switch one is not pressed, so that value is still one. 
then I want to turn on the green LED and if uh, neither of those three cases are true then I don't I don't care what happens I'm just I'm not gonna do anything and then once I'm done with the switch statement I turn off the LEDs and then continue checking so that's how the uh, that's how that's how the program works so just remember to turn on the pull, the pull up resistors that's the most important thing about this tutorial I show you what uh, every other thing means in my first video of programming ARM microcontrollers and like I said the pages are here and the link to the uh, microcontrollers data sheet is in the description below so thank you for watching